Welcome back. We, I believe we are on uh, story number four of uh, my fun head injury stories. And Lady is going to try her best to uh, interrupt this video. She just did. Good job, Lady. All right. Good job. Lay down. All right. Um, <laughs> okay. So in the mid to late 70s, uh, Atlantic City or New Jersey, one of them, I, I don't know. Uh, I just know that... Um, uh, the casino, this casino that's in this story was in Atlantic City. Uh, they passed a law uh, saying that uh, gambling was legal and casinos were legal. And uh, my mother um, got, uh, she somehow was able to uh, get a, uh, she bought the bus ticket. The bus took her to the casino. They refunded her her, uh, the cost of the bus ticket. So she had money to gamble. And then, um, and then they paid, gave her a free bus ride home as well. That's the way it worked. Uh, as far as I remember, it was a long time ago and I had a head injury that day. <laughs> um, so, so, uh, my mother who, uh, you know, she gambling was her thing. Um, when, when, uh, I think I already told the story, of the dream where, um, uh, the, uh, where, you know, that night we went out to bingo cause that was her thing. And, you know, I wanted to make my mother happy. So I went to bingo with her anyway. So gambling, it was, was my mother's thing. Um, and she took me over to my aunt's house, dropped me off, uh, before, um, I, at least I think that's the way it happened. I might've slipped over, but, uh, and then she went to Atlantic city. So again, this is the seventies. There are no cell phones. Um, we probably didn't even know what casino she went to. Okay. Um, so my cousin and I, who, uh, he's two years older than me, uh, we'll call him naps. And, um, he appears a lot because he was my best friend and, um, and we were together all the time. So, uh, you're going to hear a lot of stories with naps in them anyway. Uh, he and I are out riding bikes and, uh, I don't remember this story in any way, shape or form. I don't remember this day. I only know this day happened and this story happened because, uh, adults have told me it my entire life. And just like a year ago, I cornered naps and I said, look, man, we're in our mid fifties. Did this actually happen? And he described it in great detail and, uh, and how he was sure that I was dead. So, um, <laughs> so this actually happened. Okay. He and I are out riding bikes and it's the seventies, um, giant gas guzzling cars made of steel. Okay. Uh, we're out riding bikes and, um, it's just the two of us. And this guy is driving through the neighborhood. He sees me and he decides that's the kid I'm going to kill today. And he just revs his engine comes flying up behind us and runs over me on my bike. <laughs> uh, again, I don't remember any of it. <laughs> um, Naps tells me he was sure I was dead and he couldn't believe that I got up off the, off the street crying uh, after the car, you know, sped off and drove away. Um, and we have no idea why. It's just this psychopath said, that's the kid I'm killing today. And, um, so my poor mother, um, or my poor aunt, she can't even call my mother to tell her to come home and get me because number one, she took a bus. She didn't drive. Number two, she has there's no way to get a hold of her. Uh, and so she just has, my, my aunt just has to watch over me and make sure that I don't, uh, you know, I, my, my head doesn't swell or any, any other parts of my body don't swell. She has to uh, really watch me. And of course, you know, um, number one, I was a, I was a loud and whiny kid. And number two, uh, I had just been run over by a car. And so I was, I was really whiny that day, I'm sure. And she has to take care of me until my mother gets back from Atlantic city, uh, who has no idea that this has happened. <laughs> And, um, and that, that's that, that is, that is story number four. Oh, by the way, nobody thought, Hey, 
This kid just got hit and run over by a steel car from the 1970s. Maybe we should take him to the hospital and get him checked out. Oh, no, he's fine. You know, he stopped crying. So there you go. <laughs> um, this... This this is the seventies. This is this is seventies America. Probably seven. Probably the way it was all over the world. Um, you, you just you only took kids to the doctor if it was an absolute emergency, emergency or something. I don't know. Um, I just know um, <laughs> some psychopath picked me out, decided that's the kid I'm killing today. Uh, ran me over with his heavy steel car, drove away, and my poor cousin had to get me home and um and my poor aunt had to take care of me until my mother got home uh to uh, decide what to do with me and of course my mother decided take him home put him to bed that was and get me a new bike <laughs> so that was that was that um there you go that's uh story number four fun fun head fun head injury story number four hope you have a great day <laughs>